good morning everyone and it is an absolutely beautiful one it's mid-november so it's a little bit chilly however i've essentially just been for a morning run with all my camera gear so i'm feeling all right we're out here looking for short-eared owls it's a beautiful type of owl that's often out during the day hunting and um, they come over from scandinavia russia and iceland for winter to the uk where it's a little bit milder for them and i've been told that in this area there are a few of them so hopefully we'll be able to find them before you decide whether or not to continue watching this video all i'll say is please just watch the next minute to see what i've been through to get here because i think i deserve a little bit of engagement for it um because yeah it wasn't easy to get here and um yeah i just hope it's going to be worth it this is the trials and tribulations of wildlife photography i wanted to make it for sunrise but the car battery is flat so I'm gonna just try and I'm gonna miss it but I'm gonna try and get as close as possible it's like an hour's walk half it's uphill but I think if I can run some maybe we'll get there in half an hour or so hopefully it'll be worth it to give you a frame of reference just beyond those trees is where I'm going to I've got a head up here all the way along the top and I've been running and I'm exhausted but I'm gonna run again because I'm so desperate to get there it's been years since I photographed short-eared owls and they're so close but they're so far but hopefully it'll be worth it you're gonna to have to excuse the sweaty mess that's talking to you um, but I made it the sun it's just coming up. I'm exhausted. I did not expect to do a three kilometre run with all my camera equipment at half six this morning, but that's what's happened. That's where we're at. And let's hopefully now go and find some beautiful short-eared owls. too much to report yet unfortunately we've seen some red kites and some kestrels so just doing a bit of filming of them um, but no short it else just yet I've still got about an hour before I need to head back and go to work um, but then I've got the rest of the weekend as well although it's looking pretty wet and windy so yeah I don't know how that's gonna go but if we don't see them this morning then yeah we'll be out um, in those conditions doing our best to get the shots but yeah anyway it's still been nice to be out and who knows what we're going to see in the next hour. Good afternoon. It is so still and peaceful and I'm really hoping that this evening will be a good opportunity to find the short-eared owls. That is, if I'm in the right location. I'm pretty sure that I am. I guess the question is whether or not the owls are still around, they might have moved on, but I will keep my fingers crossed and in the meantime there's loads of red kites around as always so I can have a bit of fun with them. Speaking of which, one of the pictures I got this morning is one that I'm really really pleased with so yeah, have a quick look at this and that just means that getting up early and, and hiking up here even without the car was worth it in the end and the good news is the car is now fixed so I won't have to do that again this weekend hopefully. Anyway, let's get going and see how we can do this evening. I've got one. Short it out. I can't believe that. Just literally a few seconds after I recorded the sort of intro for this afternoon, I thought I'd get a nice shot of me playing with my binoculars. And I've actually just seen one. Two, two, two. Well, there's two of them. Let's go. I can't believe this. I'm so excited.
I'm in what feels like a really good spot. So there's this big concrete like old bunker thing and it just looks out over the hills um, and the area where the sunlight is facing. So when the sun goes down, that'll get the last light. Uh, the owls have been flying around this area. They've just kind of gone up behind now. Um, but I'm hoping now that I'm in this position, I'll stay in this position now for, I guess, another hour. It's about quarter past three now. Sunset's around quarter past four. So if I can just stay still in this location for one hour, then fingers crossed they'll be back and I won't be disturbing them, but I can just have beautiful views of them. That's my hope for this evening. But either way, whatever happens, I'm just so happy that we've actually seen them and got two days now to get pictures and this evening. So I'm feeling pretty good and pretty confident about that. It was a pretty cool evening. It's a little bit too dark now, um, but yeah, I had a great time. Didn't really get many pictures, just enjoyed being out, watching three or four short-eared owls, but awesome. And now I feel like I've got a better idea of where I need to be to try and get some pictures tomorrow and Sunday. So yeah, just gotta trust the process. This morning we didn't see them, today we've seen them, tomorrow we photograph them, fingers crossed. It's, yeah, it can sometimes just be about scouting out locations and I'm just really pleased that we've seen them so we know that they're here and now I feel like we've got a decent chance to get some images. I did get a bit of footage today, all fairly distant, but still really cool to see them. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the video and I hope it's going to get even better in the next day or two. It's time to go again. It's half 11 on Saturday morning. It's been really, really grim, rainy, windy this morning, so I didn't come out first thing, but... It's supposed to clear up a little bit uh, and it has done a bit it's still not great so not the perfect conditions but i'm hopeful that we'll find them again this afternoon i'm going to spend the rest of the day out here i've got some bread and soup packed in my bag so i'll have that for lunch shout out to my dad for making that um so yeah i'm looking forward to just spending the afternoon in some pretty wild conditions out in nature hopefully in the presence of some short-eared owls What a moment we've had already. I've been out for about 15 minutes now and the short-eared owls don't seem to be around at the moment but I'm not too worried about that because I've still got a long time to wait and I've just had probably my best ever encounter with a buzzard which is really cool. It's not an uncommon bird, you see them quite often but usually they're like way up in the sky um, just gliding around but this one was just coming in and out of the valley just swooping around um, so I've just been filming it, getting pictures, um, set myself up here with the tripod just kind of hunkered down you've got the valley down there um yeah what a what an absolutely wicked moment and with four hours left i'm just i'm so happy and really excited about what else we might be able to see So I've just had a glimpse of two of them for the first time this afternoon, just the other side of the valley. So I've just got to sit here and wait, play the waiting game and hope that they come over in this direction. There's at least four of them, there might even be five. They're still all the other side of the valley. Um, and now I'm just going to make my way down into the middle 
of the valley so I'm still keeping a really good distance from them it's probably a bit more sheltered over there I think it's getting a bit windy now and I can imagine that that might be why they're all over the other side at the moment so yeah I'm gonna head there now and see how I get on The weather has taken a bit of a turn for the worst. Pretty rainy, pretty windy now, and really I think the most appropriate word for this evening would be frustrating. I ended up counting six short-eared owls, which is awesome, and don't get me wrong, I feel so lucky to have seen them. But to spend four or five hours out um, trying to get pictures and coming away with none is, yeah, it's a little bit painful. <laughs> Um, and I think the weather tomorrow is, is not looking much better, so I don't feel super hopeful about that. Um, it's, yeah, owls just generally don't really hunt um, in the wind and the rain, and that's what it was today. I saw six of them, they were all just lined up on these fence posts, so there was no way of getting close without spooking them, and they just weren't really flying around much. Um, but yeah, made it difficult. So I'm going to head home, warm up, dry off, and maybe give it another go tomorrow i'll see what the weather's doing here we go then last real chance sunday morning i've decided to come out it's pretty windy not feeling too hopeful but i'll regret it if i don't try so yeah slightly different approach i've lost the tripod i've lost the rucksack literally just got my camera and my binoculars i want to be super mobile a bit more discreet and just see if that makes any difference um so yeah let's go and try for one last time to get these short-eared owls. Unfortunately the rain came in again shortly after I headed out and there was no sign of the owls. I still wanted to share this video though because we did have some really cool moments and we did see the owls as well which was absolutely wicked. And it also just goes to show the effort and patience required to get the shot sometimes, which I think is important to share. Here are some of the pictures that I did manage to get on the Friday night. I'm not too pleased with them, but at least it's nice to have a bit of documentation to be able to show you. And yeah, I guess it just means I've got something to go back out for this winter to see if I can finally get those shots. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.